friend over there. Hi, Mike. Well. I uh, want to thank you all for helping to make it possible for us to meet here today. Uh, time, times like this, living up above the store isn't too bad. I, Ed Rollins has told me that with the leadership of David Murdoch, your national chairman, and Mike Kerb, and Keith Brown, you raised almost $7 million to support the re-election effort. And I've also been told that every penny came at personal financial sacrifice. <laughs> the, the, the presidency is a trust, it's a compact between the people and their leaders, and yours is what I call a very special trust. And I appreciate all that you've done. Together we, we earned more than the privilege of meeting here today. We gained an impressive mandate that's already paying dividends for our country. The MX vote was the first test of that mandate. And, uh, <laughs> no one can doubt its importance to our security and negotiations in Geneva, or that the other guy would have unilaterally given it away if he'd won last fall. So you can count the peacekeeper as a victory for the presidential trust. Now, there'll be more victories to come as our mandate meets renewed tests, but with your continued support and resistance, assistance, not resistance, well, <laughs> resistance, um, resistance to um, uh, some things that are going on here, why, we'll translate last fall's victory into a leaner budget, lower taxes, and a dynamic economy. Together, we'll keep the people's trust. Now, I just want to welcome you all here as friends, say once again how grateful we are for your support. And I can't resist, I just, maybe you've heard it and not, but I know some of the people on this platform have, but there's a little story that just so aptly represents um, some of what takes place up there on the hill and what we're trying to combat. But the three fellows that were out in the town got back to their car and found they'd locked themselves out. And one of them said, get a wire coat hanger. We can get in that way. And the other one, one of them said, no, you can't do that. Somebody will see us and think we're stealing the car. <laughs> and the second one said, they said, wait a minute, I got a knife. We can cut a little rubber around the window, get our fingers in and unlock the car. And the first one said, then they'll think we're too stupid to use a coat hanger. <laughs> and, uh, and the third one said, well, we better do something pretty quick because it's starting to rain and the top's down. <laughs> Thank you all, and God bless you all, and uh, we'll try to keep the faith. Vice President? Yeah, I'd like to say 